Hi everybody. I'm going to make a recipe of beef burgundy tonight for the company I have coming, which is my daughter and my son-in-law, but they're company to us. And I'm going to show you how to make it very easily. going to make a recipe of beef burgundy tonight for the company I have coming, which is my daughter and my son-in-law, but they're company to us. And I'm going to show you how to make it very easily. First I'm going to cut a cup of carrots, a cup of celery, and a cup of onion to saute. Peel the carrots, wash and chop the celery. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to prepare the meat. Okay, you want to take as much fat off the meat as you can. I use a chuck roast. It's not a tender cut of meat, so cooking it for four hours in a Dutch oven in the oven at 325 is an excellent way to cook a chuck roast and have really tender beef. Clean it up as best as you can. Get as much fat off because there is bacon in this, so you do have a little fat from the bacon. You don't need the fat from the meat. Finish cutting up my bacon. It's sautéed to sauté all the vegetables. Okay, you just want a small dice. And I also have a cup of mushrooms diced very fine. That will go in after the bacon sautés a little then the mushrooms will go in after that. So let's go over to the Dutch oven and get started. You need to use a nice heavy pot and these cast iron Dutch ovens work excellent for this meal. Put your bacon in. No added fat because this will take care of the fat that you need. In the meantime, while that's going, I gotta go get my meat. So you're gonna take your meat and you're gonna put it on a pan. Kind of spread it out a little. Okay, you're gonna take your meat and you're gonna salt and pepper it. Don't want to put too much salt on it because you got salt in the bacon. Bacon come along nice. Okay, then you're gonna take some flour. And you're gonna sprinkle it on your meat. Um, just sprinkle so it's got a good little coating on it. I'm, you gotta just eyeball it. Get all the meat, and you're going to just toss it around, kind of squish the flour onto the meat. Make sure all the pieces are coated. We got some guests. Yeah, some little puppies. There's our guests. They're watching us cook. Think they're right there. They think they're going to get a treat. You think you're going to get a treat? 
Uh huh? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go wash my hands. They all think you're gonna get a treat. They can smell um, great cooking in here. They love bacon. Do you like Mama's bacon, huh? Do you? Okay. Yeah, they do. So you're getting rid of the excess grease. A bit of it, because otherwise it'll be too greasy. Turn it to medium. Throw in your mushrooms. As this cooks in the oven, everything's going to melt down and you won't even know there's vegetables or mushrooms or anything in here. It's going to be so beefy. Put the mushrooms in here for a good uh, three minutes and then you can add the rest of your vegetables. That was really good. Smells heavenly. Mushrooms are ready with the bacon, so I'm going to get the other vegetables. Now you want to um, brown the vegetables with the rest of the ingredients until they start getting soft. Also, you want to get your thyme ready. You want to use a good, good sized bunch, good handful. Okay, just now you're going to want to push everything to the side so we can put the meat right in the middle. And if it doesn't seem like there's enough fat in it, left in it, and just grab your olive oil and just put like a tablespoon of olive oil in the middle. All right. Then you're going to want to put your meat in. And we're going to saute the meat a little bit. It'll saute up for a good uh, five, ten minutes. Get your thyme if you want to, and you can put your thyme in, in it. Oh. It's thyme that I'm going to put in is some, shake some pepper in there. The meat was salt and peppered, and the bacon is salty, so you don't want to put too much salt in. Otherwise, when it's done cooking, it'll be way too salty. Also, I told you to use a little bit of olive oil to brown the meat, but if you save some bacon fat, go ahead and use a tablespoon of that. Action. Okay, folks, the meat is done to how it's supposed to be. Now, this is how it looks. This is how it should look. Doesn't that look awesome? Wait till you see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven after four hours. Anyway, you're going to want to deglaze the pan now. And what you're going to do it with is... Where did he want? Uh, you're going to eyeball it. But can you use at least a cup? Or more. That looks pretty good. Awesome. You liked it when I made it, didn't you? Yeah, it was good. Hey, we're trying to tape here. Hey, guys. Guys, we're taping here. Hey. Hey, we're taping here. We're taping here. Okay. And then okay. you're going to take some beef broth. At least, uh, I would say, a couple cups of beef broth. That's beef broth. Yep. Eyeball that. Eyeball it? Eyeball it, yeah. I eyeball a lot of stuff when I cook it. Alright. And this is how it should look before you put it in the oven. It should be just about covered. You want to go ahead if it's not and just give it another little splash of broth. Go ahead. 
and then you now we're going to cover it and you start with an oven of 425 and once it starts you can hear it sizzling in the pot turn it down to 325 it takes about uh, 20 minutes to a half hour and then you're going to cook it for four hours at 325 and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done thanks guys <sighs> Okay folks, I, it's 4 o'clock now. I put this in at noon. It's 4 o'clock. I left it in for 4 hours instead of 3 because it needed a little bit extra cooking time. And I also had to add a little bit more beef broth. Let's take a look. Look at that. And I'm going to let my husband taste it so he can be a judge of what it tastes like. I'll try that. I'm taping too, folks. Oh my. Mmm. Wow. That's very good. You did a nice job. Come out okay? Very good. Wonderful. So there you have it, folks. And we will. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.